Hey everyone, it's Charlie. It is November 29th, Sunday. Hope everybody had a good uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Um, I basically disconnected from the computer, the television, uh, just got away from everything, went to Denver for, uh, for the weekend. And uh, it was great. I mean, it was great just to get away. Um, but reality was flung onto me Saturday when I was driving home. Uh, 13 hour drive, there's no way to get away from uh, the radio. And at 11 o'clock in the morning uh, on satellite radio, Fox was already broadcasting that uh, Black Friday sales had increased by one half of 1% um, over 2008. I found that number comical at best, um, a, do a downright lie at worst. Uh, so when I came home sun Saturday night, I decided to dig into it and find out where they get their information. You know, what metric are they using to uh, 10, 11 hours after Friday ends, they're reporting that it's already an increase? Well, what I found out is there's, there's a Chicago-based company called Shopper Track RCT Corp. Okay, and they monitor the retail sales of 50,000 businesses across this country. And they're reporting a one-half of 1% 1 increase over this time last year. Now, I, I'm suspect of the information right from the get-go because, first of all, how on God's green earth do you get sales data uh, from 50,000 stores and, and uh, put together a report within a few hours of the, the, uh, the day ending? I think it's impossible. I mean, what they're probably doing is, is they're doing a sampling, uh, a survey of a few of those stores uh, and then putting out the data that, uh, that they did versus last year at the same time, which is meaningless because – you know, as we find out, the, the, when the television starts throwing statistics around, they're always slanted in favor of uh, more consumerism. And just like the government's numbers, always in favor of more uh, green shoots. And then they revise them later to, to reflect reality. So let me just go ahead and jump right to some reality uh, that, you can, uh, that you can count on. I mean, these are numbers that have been out for a year, so you can count on them. In 2008, the, uh, the unemployment rate in this country was 5.7%. Just one year ago, was under 6%. Now we're sitting in an official rate of 10.2% unemployment. That's a real number. You don't have to wait for that to be revised. That's the real one. Credit card defaults. In 2008, in December, we were hovering right around 6%, a little bit under 6%. Right now, 14%, more than double this time last year. In 2008, 3 million homes were foreclosed on in this country, which was an 81% increase from 2007 and a 255% increase from 2006. Okay, And in 2009, we're going to be north of 20% higher than 2008's numbers. Now, you don't have to look any further than those three sets of statistics right there to realize that it is physically impossible to have a better Christmas season uh, than we did last year. There's no way it can happen. You have twice as many people out of work. You have more homes that are going under. And you have people that don't have credit, period. The banks aren't lending to people to go out and buy Christmas presents. It's just not happening. So anything you hear that has to do with consumer spending, you have to take with a grain of salt. Because it's being put out by the very same people who rely on you consuming to give them a job. You know, these, these uh, anchors and these uh, talk show hosts or these business channel hosts, all of them, 100% of them, rely on ad-based revenue in order to make a living. So it, it behooves them to beat the drums, to get the herd stomping to the stores and uh, spending money because it brings in ad revenue for them. Uh, and on that note, I, I didn't get up at 4 in the morning uh, and go shopping because, you know, even if the economy was perfectly healthy and I was – floating large on a big fat sea of cash, there's no way on God's green earth I would get up at 4 in the morning to go shop. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. But there's lots of people who did. And in fact, Thursday night, uh, driving home from dinner, we passed the, the local Walmart in uh, Littleton, Colorado. And there was tents. There was people camping outside to get in to get their uh, $200 flat screen TV. I, it was just amazing to me. I, you know, the... The sheer uh, level of, of ignorance in this country when it comes to consumerism is beyond belief. And, and it's hard to be uh, over judgmental with these people because, you know, that, 
that is the society we've uh, we've grown in. That's what we we've, we've grown up in. You know, the mega malls, the mega department stores, the mega sales, <clears throat> buy buy buy. You know, it's what uh, has led us to this this path that, that's leading us to destruction. So it's it's going to end. You and I might know what is going to end, and how fr and how uh, futile it seems for these people to be wasting their time on Thanksgiving of all days. You know, this is the day we're supposed to be giving thanks for what we have and, and being grateful for each other's company and friends and family. And it, it's the epitome of irony that we have uh, people sh camping out in a Walmart parking lot on Thanksgiving. I mean. It, it's it's surreal is what it is. So uh, anyhow, uh, I did go out later on Friday. I went. I took my son to a big mall because we live in you know Podunk, Montana. Um, we were in a big city, and he wanted to go to a big mall, so I took him there. And in a few of the bigger stores in there, um, you know, at three o'clock in the afternoon, it was not crowded. In fact, it was uh, it looked slow to me. I mean, you, there was a few people in there, but there was no mad rush to uh, clear the shelves. Plenty of inventory on the shelves, plenty of uh, discounts on the inventory that they had. Um, and in talking to uh, a couple sales managers that were in some of these bigger stores, I said, well, you know, was it crazy in here this morning? And, and on the stores that opened up at 5 a.m. and 6 a.m., it was. People were coming in, gobbling up the lost leaders, and then getting out of the store. And, in fact, one of them said to me, you know, we, everybody came in, bought the stuff we were losing money on, and left. And for those of you who are not in, in the retail world or in the sales world, you know, companies like Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Kmart, they, they all advertise in their flyers of what's called a loss leader. Home Depot, for instance, will pick 150 items that they will purposely lose money on. So when you get that flyer in your hand, you say, wow, I can't live without that deal. And you go into their store to buy it because they know on average, at least the the statistics used to show them, if you go in there to buy this 49 cent pack of light bulbs, you're going to spend $8 more on stuff that's marked up 50%. Well, what's happening is people are going in, they're fighting their way into the doors to buy the loss leaders, but then they're getting out of Dodge because they just don't have the money or the credit to spend any more. So when, uh, when companies like this uh, Shoppers Track Corp reports numbers, uh, you know, I think what they do is they're calling up and they're getting some simple statistics, like how many people came into their door or what was the average ticket for the day. But it's not showing the fact that people are only taking the items they're losing money on. They're not buying the higher uh, profitable items. Um, and at the end of the day, when it all works out, you know, these stores are going to go out of business if all they sell is loss leaders. So that's my take on, on uh, Black Friday. What a joke. Um, I'm also going to uh, attach with this video – Ben Bernanke's article that he posted in the Washington Post today. It's basically uh, just rehashing his position, uh, which is you're too stupid to understand the uh, economy of this country and how the banking system works and these exotic uh, investment vehicles, and we need him. So we need to uh, give up this idea of uh, more transparency because all it's going to do is hurt you. Basically, you don't need to know. If you do know, you uh, won't be able to handle it anyway. So just leave it to us. We know what we're doing. So read that article. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, but for now, that's all I got.